I see the message. This is all new. So can you hear me well? Yes, I can. Let me ask you that again. So let me see. And I believe we are live. Great. Thanks, Tony. Yeah. So um, let me see here if I need to. Okay. So I need to turn the volume up. Okay, so good morning, everyone, and happy Wednesday. Well, in fact, happy National Autism Day. April is known to be the uh, national month uh, for, for autism awareness. So how fitting is that today I'm hosting uh, uh, our friend, Catherine Nordberg, who is the CEO and the founder of Eric's Ranch and Retreat here in Minnesota and in the state of Montana. Uh, let me start by first saying, uh, Catherine, welcome to my show. How are you? How is how are you doing? Thanks, Tony. We're doing just fine, and really appreciate being on your show. Awesome. So forgive me. There is a delay a little bit, so I have to I have to not wing it. This is my first time I do this with. Uh, <laughs> Zoom meeting. So we'll we'll try to make the best of it. So um, uh, glad you're doing okay. Glad everybody is safe and sound. Uh, tell me about you. Tell me about who Catherine is and really how did you see the vision for Eric's Ranch? Sure. Well, Eric is my son. He's now 28. But when he was 15, I started thinking about um, what his life would be like later. And I just didn't see a lot of opportunities for him. So when I was thinking about the things that he really loved to do, spend time outdoors, a lot of time with horses and riding, um, I thought about this resort kind of opportunity where he would be able to share with guests all the things that he loves, but without being um, dependent on um, language as that connection, because his, his language is um, not conversational. So... Um, skiing, hiking, biking, swimming, horseback riding, he can do all those things and show you how to do all those things. He just can't spend time chatting with you over a cup of coffee. So I thought, you know, um, when I was putting together a white paper and I thought, oh my gosh, if he could do all those things with people from all over the world, that would be such a great life for him. So we ended up um, actually in Montana first and then um, brought the concept as well to Minnesota to do an urban model where we have guest accommodations and host people from all over the world to come and stay with us and then also give tours to them. And this is part of that concept of getting people out into the community and having our members who are on the autism spectrum be the leaders of those tours to share their expertise in areas where they're passionate. Okay, so if, if I was to sum it up, would you consider Eric's Ranch as a hotel as a boutique that is ran and operated by these amazing young uh, men with autism? Sure. So in Minnesota, that's what we look like, a little guest uh, boutique hotel. We have nine rooms, but we're bringing on another nine here by May. And the guests are the lifeblood in both of our locations. So a guest ranch in Montana, um, a retreat here in Minnesota, but guests come and stay with us from all over the world and they make donations to stay just like they would if they stayed at another um, hotel or, or um, resort. And then because they're here, they actually create jobs for our members. So our members are the chefs and, you know, we have a baker who bakes um, fresh scones and muffins and so on for the guests every morning. We deliver those. We have concierge uh, staff. They check in our guests and tell them about our organization and the accommodations that they're receiving. And then of course we have tour guides, um, which is what they love to do the most because they are in the driver's seat then. And that's not a position they've been in most of their lives. So would you say that, you know, having people book a room or a suite, whether in Edina or in Montana is really helpful to sustain the business and continue the growth that you're after? Because obviously what I'm hearing is that the more room you have occupied or, or, or being taken, the more opportunities you have for more young adults to have jobs out there, correct? 
That's correct. That's exactly right, Tony. So um, right now, as you can imagine, with the shelter in place um, rules, we don't have guests. And so that's pretty critical. Um, it puts us in a really critical situation. So our members are also sheltering in their um, apartments and not working right now because the guests are the lifeblood of our operation. So, you know, um, to assist us to get through this period of time, anyone who can could book a room in advance. And of course, we always give rain checks. So you could change those schedules at your, you know, at your need. Um, tours are uh, structured the very same way so that we have um, um, lots of tours that are available for this summer and coming up. And here's all of our members. That's great. Thanks for sharing yeah. that. So we give tours that are anything from um, you can see river rafting in Montana and trail rides there to here we have Tim's um, craft cocktail tour and um, we have biking tours and Segway tours around the lakes. Our limo tour is available as well. And so lots of different tours that our members lead. So anyone um, can book those in a number of ways, but um, showing up, uh, they are all available on our website as well as other platforms like Airbnb experiences and so on. So, so the website address is ericsranch.org. So yeah. how can people help in, in times like these? You know, we obviously, uh, we need to sustain the business and, and we need to support these young men and women here pictured right in front of us, right? So That's right. So what, what, what are you doing differently right now that, you know, at least to keep that uh, momentum going at least during this challenging times? Thanks, Tony. Yes, we're doing a couple of things. So um, rent a room in advance from us, you know, book a reserve a, a room here in Minnesota or one of our houses. And right behind Tony there is our beautiful guest house in Montana that couldn't be more secluded. There it is. Um, we, have two uh... <laughs> we have two of those and the only other folks you're going to see are elk. So um, we actually do have people staying in those houses in Montana, which is helping us a lot. But so book a, book a stay with us, also book a tour with us. And the other thing you can do right now, we're trying to raise about $20,000 to get us through the next couple of months. And that is buy a, buy a raffle ticket. So we're only selling 200 raffle tickets. You can go to the events tab on our website. And, Which is right here, yep. Yeah. Yep, and learn more about the raffle. So capture the memories raffle, you see it down there. So $100 raffle ticket, we're only selling 200. And it gets you a five night stay in Montana at our spectacular ranch um, or a three night stay here in Minnesota. So the prizes are, are quite significant and um, you'll love to um, do both, so. That's awesome, that's awesome. I'm, on, I'm gonna you know, stop sharing right now and, and really bring it all back, Catherine. So, so the vision basically started at with your own child. And now Eric's bless his heart. He's in his mid twenties and he's excelling in so many different areas. And uh, last I heard he trains people on the Segway. Is that still happening? That is so, All right. you know, and, and that's amazing. That's amazing. So um, I just wanted to kind of really uh, send you some positive vibes and, and really virtually, yes, we live 20 minutes away yet. We can't really be, <laughs> in the same room while well, we can, we have to be like six feet apart. But uh, I really wanna thank you to, uh, to, to coming live and really express your, your passion about the Eric's Ranch. I know I have a really a close uh, relationship with the organization, it's close and dear to my heart as well. Um, for the viewers out there, we, we appreciate you tuning in and listening to us and, and really consider going to ericsranch.org and if, if, you're, if you're out of state or if you're out of the country and donations are welcome, you know, whether a one time or on a recurring basis, but uh, one way to really sustain this organization and keep it moving. So we definitely appreciate you coming uh, and tuning in with us live today with our uh, own CEO and, and founder, Catherine Nurberg. Uh, anything else you want to add, Catherine, before we wrap it up? You know, one of the special programs I failed to mention is that we have mission trips to our ranch in Montana and um, they're for three nights and um, the volunteers help us with a lot of projects and get to have a lot of fun as well. And we've done five of these so far and they're just um, really spectacular. So um, 
If you're if you love the outdoors and want to come and help us with projects on the ranch, um, there's a picture of the view that we have. We're in Paradise Valley, just 40 minutes from the north gate of Yellowstone. It's pretty spectacular, but we'd love to have small groups of folks, four to eight people, come out and help us with some projects and also have a great time in the valley. That's awesome. That's awesome. What a what a beautiful view. I mean, it's it's serenity at its best, right? Yeah, it's incredible. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, thank you, Catherine, again for uh, joining me live. Uh, uh, you know, we uh, we wish you all the best with uh, your vision and and the mission, and we can't really thank you. So grateful for what you're doing for our community as well. So, uh, again, you know, I'll leave some comments. Um, you know, about the uh, the organization and the website address. You know, any comments? Uh, please like this video, share it with your timeline, with your friends. Uh, everything help, every little bit think help. So uh, thanks again, Catherine, and enjoy your day and be safe and stay healthy, everyone. Take care. Thank you, Tony.